I'm delighted to be announcing today with my colleague, Minister O'Brien, the opening of the 2024 Community Monuments Fund for Applications. This will be the fifth year of the Community Monuments Fund being managed by our National Monuments Service in partnership with local authorities, and the positive impact and benefits of the scheme are very clear. We are supporting the custodians of our monuments who care deeply about these sites and who need support in caring for this heritage on our behalf. This has been a remarkably impactful fund to date, supporting over 470 projects and nurturing communities and custodians in their care of our wonderful archaeological heritage. We want to build on that success now, and with an allocation of 7 million euro, we estimate the 2024 Community Monuments Fund will support approximately 120 projects. This is an important investment in the conservation and promotion of archaeological monuments across the country, but it's also an investment in the communities that care for them. It is listening to the calls of communities investing in their heritage and fostering an innate and proud sense of place in towns, villages and rural communities across the land. Through this funding, we will also continue to support thousands of hours of employment in traditional skills and professional heritage services with archaeologists, conservation architects and skilled craftspeople across all projects. Works funded under CMF are enabling monuments in the heart of communities to be protected for generations to come, including against the impacts of extreme weather brought on increasingly by climate change. The Fund is delivering improved access to monuments, including the provision of interpretation, both physical and online. We are also funding the development of conservation management plans, condition assessments and surveys of many monuments which are vulnerable, providing the best practice framework for future conservation interventions. We have funded surveys carried out exploring richness of biodiversity at archaeological monuments as these ancient sites are often flourishing in terms of their natural heritage, flora and fauna. This much needed investment will help to ensure that archaeological heritage across the nation continues to enrich all of our lives. I want to thank our local authorities for their key role in supporting our National Monument Service in administering the scheme and we look forward to delivering more wonderful heritage projects in 2024 that we can all be proud of.